Oh. Open letter to my grandfather. Dear Jack, my mother, she tells me that I look like you. She says I talk like you, and most importantly, I smoke and drink like you, and I say I have to believe it. Because you and I will never get the chance to meet. Too many fires in your lungs left you breathless before I could breathe. See, whenever my mother tells me that I remind her of you, it's always implied that all self-destruct too, that I too will end up wearing a hospital gown like a funeral suit, praying to whatever superstitions will still take me. Because you and I, we both know there are no atheists in our hospital. I have known too many friends who have spent their lives searching for their white powder saviors to think I couldn't easily have been one of them, and that scares me, Jim. Because I know that there are no diseases crueler than the ones we self-inflict, but I still find myself thirsty, Jack. You and I, we both know that an alcoholic is always drowning, but I don't know that I could stop the inertia of the bottle if I tried, so I don't try. Even though I know that I spend too much of my life looking at the world through the bottoms of bottles as if I'm trying to make them into kaleidoscopes to paint the world a different kind of beautiful. Just a little more euphoric this time. Jack, my mother always talks about the way you drove your car. Like you were trying to crash it just to prove that the machinery would break before you did. Did you feel that way about the rest of me? I think you did. I think that's why you insisted they take you off oxygen so you could smoke more cigarettes just to fuck you to the clockwork that was holding you back from a death as miserable as your life, see Jack? <laughs> I know how you love to play Prometheus. Stealing your damnation back from whatever deity was too cowardly to pull the fucking trigger already. I felt the same way at age 12. First time I sparked a cigarette, and see, lately I've been wondering if it's still a suicide, if it's in slow motion. But your memory is not as definitive as it used to be. So Jack, even though we're strangers who just happen to share bloodlines, my mother keeps telling me that I'm more your reflection than the mirror of us. I've always been a little more than kin. I'm praying that we're less than kind. And I swear that if my grandson ever asks me what it means to be an addict, I'll have a better answer than a tombstone.